757 Eats. It's Gerard here, and we're down here at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. We're down here at Sticky Thighs, and I want to introduce you to some of their team. Say hello to Marcus. How's it going? And Jess. Hey, guys. And what we wanted to do was just give you guys an in-depth look at what Sticky Thighs is about. Tell the people a little bit about Sticky Thighs, how it came about, how long you guys been around. Okay, um, we've opened, we opened up Sticky Thighs the same weekend as Something in the Water uh, a little over a month ago. Uh, the concept came from one of our owners, uh, Tom Smith. That's his brainchild. Don't know how he came up with it, but it's probably the best thing around. Definitely, definitely. So you said you guys opened up with something in the water. Um, did you guys get really busy with that crowd? Yeah, that's probably uh, our business weekend uh, so far, but uh, business is growing every week, so we're just here ready to serve. So what separates you guys' chicken from everybody else? Um, our chicken, um, we it's not pre-done or anything. We we do everything from uh, we come over our own uh, batter. Uh, we fry our chicken fresh. Um, all of our tenders, everything is pretty much made here in house. So it's all authentic and uh, something that we have come up with on our own. Now I've had the chicken here. Tell us a little bit because we're going to go take a look at it. But tell us about the sauce and how that all came about. Okay, um, we feature uh, two main sauces. We have our sticky sauce, which is donut glaze, is our main concept. And we also have a Nashville heat sauce, is our take on the Nashville heat sauce or Nashville hot sauce. Uh, we make that in house um, from scratch. And actually, when you merge the two together, it's something magical. <laughs> what would you say, Jess? How do you like it? delicious it's unlike anything i've ever had before which is great yeah and when i had it i didn't think that it would go together but you guys wanted to put it together if it didn't so yeah. let's, let's go take a look all right i'm gonna follow you guys and if you guys have any questions and your game says yum you know andrea b and i oh i do yeah yeah jess says what's up marcus yeah show us what you got man all right as you come in um the restaurant uh, we have our main uh, service station right here where we take all your orders um, then if you pan over here we have our, our menu board uh, we serve anything from chicken tenders to chicken pieces we also offer a, a number of combo meals uh, and we also started uh, we make our own uh, CBD brownies from, uh, from scratch CBD brownies? CBD brownies yes, what? Sir. And we also have uh, French made chocolate chip cookies we make also. Oh my goodness. You guys are trying to tempt me. Uh, with our, pretty much with our menu, we have our, um, in our display case, we mainly uh, display our pieces of chicken, anywhere from our chicken thighs to our chicken breast. Down here at the bottom, we have our wings and legs. And over to this side over here, we also have some of our sides we offer. Which are waffle fries. Oh, sweet, right here? Yep. Waffle fries, sweet potato waffle fries, mm -hmm. and uh, fried okra. Nice. And we also do a couple other sides. We have uh, fresh made uh, the cheddar mac and cheese. Ooh. We do mashed potatoes and gravy. Uh, seasonal vegetables, which are collard greens uh, right now. Uh, we also serve um, potato salad, coleslaw, and we also have our own. Um, uh, seafood pasta salad that we make in house. Andrea asked again, can you give her an idea of where you guys are on um, at the oceanfront? Um, our address is 20, uh, 2120 Atlantic Avenue. We're um, right around the corner from one of our other sister restaurants with Field Bourbon and Burgers. Um, yeah, it's in between 21st and 22nd Street at, uh, down at the main strip. Okay, cool. Cool. Also, so let's talk about these sauces a little All bit. Right. Sauce goes on everything. Sauce everything, that's what we say. It's the donut glaze and uh, the red sauce is our natural heat sauce, which, like I said earlier, is our take on a natural hot sauce. And so you guys basically pour this and this on the chicken and on it tastes chicken. good? Yes, sir. Good. Do you, don't, you don't know how they came up with this? Um, well, the uh, main concept, we, we do have a, um, a three other breakfast uh, spots that we uh, also own and operate um, uh, called Hair of the Dog Eateries. And one of our main dishes there is a um, chicken and waffles. Mm. So I'm thinking they came up with that concept. People like the, the 
syrup on the on the, your chicken. So why not put donut layers on there? <laughs> why not? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really the sticky sauce is actually really good on the sweet potato waffle fries also. Awesome. So that's just another outlet for our our, our sauce. Now, what you guys hours of operation? What time of the day you guys open? Uh, for right now, we are running um, Monday through uh, Monday through Wednesday. We are opening at twelve o'clock, and we run until twelve o'clock, twelve o'clock at night. Thursday through Sunday, we are open from twelve o'clock to three a.m. So anybody that's out late, have a nice evening out and need that food for either that night or the next morning. Come on by, and we're happy to serve till three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock. That's Taco Bell hours. Oh yeah. I like that. Well, I, you want to try some of this chicken, buddy? Got my little partner here. You want to try some of the chicken today? So we're gonna try some of this chicken, and we we got another interview with with the other guys. Anything else you guys want to tell them about uh, why they should come out or promote? Any specials? I mean, big day support local is always something that I'm big on, and there's nothing else like that. But I like this concept in the area. So, if you want to try something new, something delicious, give us a try. I agree, and I've actually tried this spot, guys. I really like it. At first, I was like, huh? But I took a chance, man, and it was really, really good. It was surprising how good it was. If anything, I need to stay out of here. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, trying it with this with this glaze here, it's just, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. And it, um, what about the CD? I know they, they look good. How would you rate those brownies? Alright, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Definitely 10. Okay. So you want to, well, he, I don't think he could try the brownie, right? He's not old enough. Yeah. Oh, you can? Because, yeah. okay, I don't know the whole CD, CBD game. CBD, uh, you're, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of his stuff with CBD is clearing through legislation and everything now. There's a big stipple, uh, poop on it, but CBD is actually the good part of the, of the plant. So it's a lot of help, uh, Health benefits and everything for CBD, so it's not a bad thing. It's actually a really, really good thing. Awesome. Pain, anxiety, it's good for all sorts of stuff. It doesn't make you feel crazy. It's a different part of the mentally. All that while eating some good brownies, right? Exactly. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys letting us do the interview here. We will be back. Is that fine with you guys? If I oh, if yeah. I schedule with you guys, I want to come back and I want to get some people's first reactions eating the food here because I know my reaction was like, whoa. So. Awesome. If you guys don't have any other questions, we're signing out. Um, we're going to be doing a, a live gift card giveaway within the next few weeks. And uh, if, if people want to come to your restaurant and whoever wins, we'll throw this in the option as one of the options where they can win a $50 gift card too. Cool with y'all? Yeah. All right. All right. You guys signing out. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in.